so let's start off with some news about the channel itself so recently the channel's been doing really really well and i want to thank everyone for that by everyone that's viewed our recent subscribers all the good stuff you know but please don't be afraid to leave feedback down below i really need that going forward but thank you for all the current views we're over a thousand a month right now which is the highest the channel's ever done we're over we're over 30 hours of watch time in a month so that's just amazing so i wanted to take a second and say thank you i got a jedi survivor um review that i'm working on right now so that's coming up so please don't be afraid to subscribe hit that bell leave some likes help the channel get out there more that really means a lot to me so thank you and please continue to keep watching i plan on keep making videos so thank you just really cool shit that i want to thank everyone for but let's actually talk some video game news now so zelda this one's kind of old but i figured it was worth talking about since this is kind of a problem in the industry right now zelda tears of the kingdom got leaked nearly two weeks before its actual release date which guys come on stop doing this like actual videos images all that were widely shared on social media so this is something that needs to be reined in okay good that's not it promise there won't be any because it actually comes out in a few hours as of my recording of this but yeah even like this i don't think is is as big of a deal the whole box art being released and uh you can kind of see the cartridge the back of the box but that's not as big a deal when you compare it to actually seeing the game and seeing like there's even one who's someone who streamed it too um for a little bit before being yeah 30 minutes before the channel was removed at the request of the copyright holders nintendo like really don't don't with nintendo like that they do not play that they have the lawyers to not play that shit. so for them it is a game of around and find out so Unfortunately, whoever had the balls to stream that you're about to you're now in that whole situation of you're about to find out So, you know, just stop doing it people. It doesn't need to be like this You know, this is a lot of people's hard work a lot of hours man hours Put into this so yeah, just kind of sad to see that, you know, it's not surprising It's just sad and disappointing to see, you know, it's probably gonna be one of the bigger games this year definitely game of the year contender unless they really f it off which let's be honest here with what we've seen with redfall jedi survivor all that stuff and it being on switch a kind of getting much older console or system you know a uh, handheld system it's just like we'll see what happens we're about to find out here in a few hours what's going to happen with it but at the very least don't leak it there's no reason to leak it there's no reason to go this far just wait like everyone else like the hundreds of thousands of the rest of us at least guys get to play it. i don't have a switch so i don't get to play this till who knows when but yeah just sad another sad day in gaming where a video game so close to its release date has to be leaked like this but yep let's get it together people speaking of jedi survivor ea is apparently overjoyed with its early star wars jedi survivor performance which is kind of feels like a slap in the face it really does like i've had a lot of problems with it i have a clip on the channel of uh the game crashing in one spot like three different times um before it actually let me continue on we've had a lot of frame rate drops you know it's just not the best especially when you compare it to fallen order which i had no problems with on any level so um but overall it's sold really well um where does it say millions of players in its first 11 days again but you gotta remember we all came into this because fallen order was so good and we didn't know it was going to be like this day one we we knew it was going to be a big game that's all i really knew is it was going to be over 100 gigs but i didn't expect it to be as bad as i heard it was or saw that it was no one was expecting that um but yeah it sold well because it's a star wars property and it's still in my opinion the best one out there like store or as far as its story goes and then the gameplay is really solid too the lightsaber combat in this one is so much better but still it wasn't um polished yeah that's a good way to put it despite a six week delay for polishing which it could have used another six weeks you probably should have delayed it two or three months until the beginning of summer and then you know you probably would have had a much better product i don't know but i just feel like it should have been left in the oven a little bit longer definitely um 
think we're building on where we were with Fallen Order. I don't like. I don't want to spoil anything for anyone. The story I honestly felt was the weakest part of this game, and it kind of left me disappointing compared to what I really wanted to see. It did not give me what I wanted to see, but that's all I'll say for now. I hope I didn't spoil that for anyone. Um, the director of Respawn Star Wars Jedi series, Stig. I'm not gonna butcher your last name, man. He hopes to make a trilogy of games. I hope to see another one too. Like, please test it, stress test it better. Uh, patches, yes. Yeah, so they do talk about the uh, patches that came out on Tuesday. I think there was another one today, or yet. no? That was probably Tuesday. That was probably this past Tuesday. But yeah, I saw that, and it, it's working better. But again, the first like week or so, it was real rough, real rough. Especially as you get later in the game and the uh, battles get. Uh, bigger and bigger yeah but i'm getting into a whole review it is coming it is coming we will talk about it i thought this was a really cool one i wanted to talk i wanted to talk about this when i saw this uh video game industry is making a big mistake by ignoring older adults so obviously we've had studies done before that uh, uh talk about you know video games and uh alzheimer's and other mentally mental diseases that attack kind of your brain and uh your long-term um uh functions but essentially they are in trying to encourage uh the gaming industry to uh, what include older the elder demographic because video games have improved to help with mental cognition and whatnot so it just feels like uh they want the AARP. All the people are playing games. Now it's more casual games and mobile games, but you know, still video games nonetheless. And uh, they, it could be really helpful for senior citizens and just for people long term to fight Alzheimer's and anything of that type of nature that could affect our memories uh, long term. You know, so just more good that could come out of gaming. And but we have to include you know make games that can include these uh these type of citizens because there's uh an area in here that talks about how tutorials aren't as intuitive as they used to be because you know 30 38 percent of uh gamers are between the ages of 18 and 34 years old but you know a lot of us are growing older than that and we're still gaming i mean a lot of youtubers gaming youtubers are now hitting 35 36 such as myself we are entering that age range where you know we're part of this older demographic now so and we want to still game into our into this age you know i never plan on stopping so this is just something I wanted to bring up and hope that it gets addressed more in the future so that, you know, all of us continue to game well into our 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. Uh, anyways, big news. Summer Games Fest 2023. We finally know who's going to be there. Xbox and PlayStation, obviously. But this is what will be replacing E3, essentially, this year. And we have some interesting, one, interesting ones that will be attending Activision obviously but now there's they were talking about doing another call of duty this year so i have a good feeling call of duty will be there amazon games i don't i'm sorry i don't even care from what i've heard from you guys don't even care pass i don't know what that a is what is that is that here the full list i think is now annapurna I'm gonna be honest with you guys i have no idea who they are or what they've made but we'll check it out uh bandai namco Okay, another one I don't really recognize by the logo. Behavior. Hmm. Another one I don't really recognize that well. Capcom. So when is this taking place? I think it's going to be after Street Fighter. Capcom's been having a big year, though, so we'll see what's there. Maybe we'll see uh, something for Operation Ada. Maybe they'll drop Operation Ada or Separate Ways that day. CG, CD Projekt Red. I have a feeling... The Witch, or not Witcher, CD, uh, fuck me, what, what am I, uh, god damn, what is, Cyberpunk, Jesus Christ, why did I just go brain dead right there, Cyberpunk 2077, probably that DLC, more on that, Devolver, I have no idea what they're doing, is that digital entertainment media, digital extremes, my bad, digital extremes, I recognize that logo, Disney, which is interesting, because we also have, where is it, where is it? There's Disney and Square Enix. So 
what, what are the odds that it's Kingdom Hearts 4? We're going to see something more about the new Kingdom Hearts game. I'm really hoping I'm going to lose my fucking shit if we get a Kingdom Hearts 4 trailer. Please let there be a Kingdom Hearts 4 trailer there. That would make the whole show. EA, um, I'm going to assume Madden. This year's Madden, probably. FIFA, if that hasn't come out yet. Probably some other bullshit. I really have no idea what they're working on right now. Epic Games, I'm assuming Fortnite, if that has a new season coming out. Um, I don't know if they have anything big. Let's just see what else we got here. Gearbox, mm, maybe something Borderlands. Getting into developer, Disney, Epic, Focus. Uh, Level Infinity, Magic the Gathering, which is weird. Netflix, so maybe we're gonna see Netflix Gaming. Samsung Gaming Hub, what the fuck? Sega, Paradox, Phoenix Labs? I thought they didn't exist anymore, huh? Where Enix, Tech Lab, nice. Tech Land, my bad, nice. Ubisoft, so maybe Mirage. And at the very bottom, Xbox. Warner Bros. Game, hmm. Wonder if Warner Bros. has any, if they'll have any news on what the fuck's gonna happen with that Suicide Squad Kills the Justice League game. Hmm, but yep. Should be fun. When does it premiere? Uh, June 11th, Sunday, June 11th at 10 a.m. So usually I am off on Sunday. So looks like there's a good chance we'll be live streaming that and doing a live reaction. So very cool. Very excited for that. That's next month. Yep, that's a month from now. Very cool. Anyways, the World Video Game Hall of Fame has announced its 2023 inductees. And these are a little interesting. We got The Last of Us um so much deserved very cool to see that being put into the world video game hall of fame i always forget this is a thing until they announce the inductees um and also we sports was in here too right yep we sports will also be joining that so to all the people that speed ran that game and all that shit and started that and whatnot because I, I swear i just watched a video about we sports speed running history but uh anyways yeah, your all your hard work has paid off. It's going into the Hall of Fame. Um, I'll also be joining. Where was it? Barbie fashion designer. So, yeah, uh, I don't know what, how, why, why is a Barbie game being put in there? I, I swear that name sounds familiar, but that's just hilarious to me that they're putting a Barbie game in the world, the video game world Hall of Fame, whatever you want to call it. More GTA 6 news now. I don't know why this is news since this is kind of just par for the course for rockstar in video games but the rumors are saying that this game could be costing upwards of a billion dollars and the last one gta 5 was where is it 540 million in budget so half a billion in budget but yeah you know we've waited what almost 10 years it feels like um budget of one to two billion dollars you know not surprising you know this is what all those shark cards and the casino and all those goddamn micro transactions were for at least so hopefully at the very least we're gonna get one of the best games we've ever seen you know red dead redemption 2 i still think is the best game on the market in terms of graphics and stability and gameplay and all that so if this can somehow top that then it's gonna be worth it but if they're like doubling to almost tripling their budget on the game yeah man that this is gonna be some shit worth seeing so no word on a release date i'm not gonna look at that map thing i don't want any any more news on this outside of that it is happening and it is coming so um hundreds of these vehicles revolutionary ai upgrades this, this is gonna be crazy i cannot wait but at the same time i don't want this to be something that i have to come on here and talk about in a bad way on the news and in a review but they're putting the money into it it's definitely taking its time to get here so i don't think that's going to be this the case for it but just i will i do want to put this out there i would expect this to be the only grand theft auto game we get for this generation of consoles so after this just know this is going to be something we should get used to it's just one gta per console and then they will steadily provide for the online and maybe a red dead if we get really lucky but anyways a, a, um, a big playstation showcase could be weeks away 
to jump in front of essentially Game Fest and Xbox's um, reveals and showcase. So this could start on the week of May 25th. It could not. This could just be bullshit. It could be real. We don't know. But, you know, this would be pretty much a week before the Xbox game showcase and uh, uh, I guess the summer game fest. So they could have their own little thing to jump out in front of all this and show off their big stuff way before that, before, or not way before, but a week before the actual um, summer games fest. So we'll see. I thought this was pretty interesting. I think this would be hilarious if they actually did do it just to slap uh, Xbox in the face just because Xbox is really down right now with their games coming out in such poor and sad states. And, uh, you know, this this showcase is kind of a big deal for Xbox. They need to really come out with something more than just Starfield. And if they are just doing Starfield or if Starfield's going to be a big part of it, they better have a release date or something. I don't know. But just Xbox fans are really not happy with the service and Phil Spencer and everything right now on Xbox, and understandably so. But let's see what happens with this. I will definitely pay attention to this and see what happens the uh the week of may 25th the last week of the month and if so if i can we'll stream it but if not we'll do a live reaction afterwards on stream over at twitch tv backslash three live gaming make sure to come check this out live uh capcom confirms this is what i was talking about before earlier that capcom has confirmed that you know their sh share prices are going up their games are doing well so you know obviously those two things being connected, but you know, Resident Evil 4 came out. Um, the Resident Evil Plus said it sold 41.7 million games during the 12 month period. Yeah, I've been buying an uptick of Resident Evil games since 4 came out to uh play through the story again live on again Twitch. So come check that out live as we're doing three right now, but that game's kind of short, so hopefully you can make it in time. I'll try to get this video up in time. Uh, that's from 32.6 million, so damn, almost 10 million more. Exactly, uh, previous fiscal year breaks its record for the most games sold in a business year. Yeah, so Resident Evil is killing it right now. And then, of course, we got Street Fighter comes out in like pretty much a few weeks from when this is going to go live. Um, so hopefully I can get that and we can check that out. They've also had multiple... Monster Hunter games. Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak is still actually outpacing Resident Evil 4, which is crazy to me that a Monster Hunter game, like, I didn't know they had that many fans, they were that diehard, and then even right below it, it's Monster Hunter Rise. Resident Evil 2 and 3 I bought in the last month, um, so I've contributed to that quite a lot on Biohazard since it came out. But yeah, it's just a really good time for Capcom, and you know, if you're looking to invest in some stocks right now, Resident Evil might be the one to do it. I'm not a big guy into that, but as you can see, there's a huge uptick going on right now in Resident Evil games. They got, again, Street Fighter coming out. So, you know, I don't know if they have anything planned for after Street Fighter. Well, Operation Ada, if you're waiting for all the DLC or all the content for Resident Evil 4 to come out, you know, you're just going to help them out later on in the future. But yeah, good time to be Capcom, but in all fairness, the games are worth it. Uh, Resident Evil 4 was a really good, solid game. And again, contender for game of the year, if you ask me. In my opinion, it might be game of the year. It did so goddamn well with everything in that game. So, you know, it's not like this isn't unearned. This is actually, these are actually good games. We did play Monster Hunter Rise. We played 2 and 3. 2 was really good. 3's been, you know, adequate enough. I'm happy with the money I spent and got what I've gotten from it. So, you know. Good time to be Capcom. Keep it up, please. Nintendo reports Switch sales have slowed down, and to make it worse, they say there's no hardware, no new hardware coming out this year. So Switch obviously has been out for a while. Tears of the Kingdom might get a few more in people's hands. I just don't have, I just don't feel like buying a Switch right now is responsible with everything I have going on and everything I should be investing in right now. Could, I would, but... Yeah, um, but, you know, they kind of need a new uh, system out. It's been quite a while. When this started popping up on my Twitter feed, I did think about it. It's been quite a while since we've got a new Nintendo system whatsoever or outside of the Switch Lite. But, again, that's just a cut-down version of the Switch, in all honesty. So, 
it's not like it's a big upgrade or a big deal but they do need a new system the uh playstations and xboxes have been out for what almost three years now two and a half years something like that quite a while now but they always seem to lag behind when it comes to new systems and whatnot but yeah hopefully next year but it's just kind of um not surprising to hear that stuff that their sales are slowing down and then you know with this with the switch this far out and with um you know no new hardware no one really is probably going to invest in a switch and they might just wait till next year or for their a significant price drop but yep just sad sad thing for so or for nintendo i really wish you guys would come out with a different system or a stronger switch system go back to home consoles i missed the home console days then 64 and whatnot so the mil u.s military is training sea lion to play video games now these aren't real video games i can show you a picture real quick here it is yeah but it's just they're playing games to relax apparently seals find this relaxing and they enjoy solving puzzles and whatnot they're smart creatures they are actually smart creatures but more shockingly our u.s navy has a squad of sea lions like what the fuck for oh we also have a squad of dolphins but dolphins i can understand i don't know what seals really do uh behind the program just let they enjoy gaming just like we do it's part of, we're all part seal here people mammal program which trains sea lions and dolphins to assist in reconnaissance and recovery measures oh that's pretty cool and he's also bound to provide the highest standard of care for the animals and it's ranked fuck yeah i mean they do kind of serve our country because i wouldn't doubt that also means uh mine and bomb finding and like waters and whatnot one of the newest tools developed to keep its animals engaged and happy is a video game called the enclosure oh that sounds kind of fucked up <laughs> kind of like what you keep them in instead of letting them be out in the wild or eve the game sees sea lions using an oversized set of buttons to control a cursor on a screen completing certain objects in a simplified form of video games yeah so it's just basic puzzle solving but hey whatever keeps them happy um he did also mention something about they don't rage so i guess sea lions make better gamers than most humans but yeah it's kind of hilarious to think about that see they use the little snout to move it they got the four-way directions to go up down left right i want to know what the bags are underneath there for I don't know, that looks like a pissed off seal to me. I don't know, so cute, so cool. Just, the, just another funny story in gaming I thought I'd share with everybody, but yeah. Uh, but that is going to end the news for this week, so if you're over on YouTube, make sure again to subscribe. Thank you again for watching, especially if you've made it this far. The view time really means a lot to me. Um, Hit the bell, all that good stuff, come over, watch it on live. Links will be down below, and yeah, have a good one.